fixed OBS recording settings and the gameplay you're watching right now. I did use these OBS settings to get this gameplay, so if you're looking for a gameplay like this, please stay tuned and I'll show you how or which settings you're going to use. And before we start, please leave a subscription down below for more quality content like this to show you how to improve your channel, uh, improve your channel, uh, get more channel tips. I just repeated that, I just realized. And, oh, it's pretty obvious. The general tab first. For now, you're going to be looking at uh, the general tab first of all. Uh, Uh, so your language, whatever language you're using, I'm using, I speak English, uh, it's pretty obvious. Uh, so theme, I chose a dark one, Any, anything here really doesn't matter, these are all personal preference, it shouldn't uh, hit the recording stuff too much. Uh, if you're streaming, you want to put all your streaming stuff here, but we're talking about recording settings, so this is not going to be necessary. What is going on everybody, this is Seven, and I'm back again with another video. You guys remember last year I did a tutorial on the best settings for OBS 2018. Now I'm going to be... Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here, and welcome back to another video. So, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys the best OBS recording settings in 20... this like just with the black screen and if for some reason you don't see that just right click and hit enable preview and then you should be good to go so if this is your first time using obs then i should quickly explain scenes and sources for you guys so your scenes are different kinds of visuals that you want to show up in your video or on a stream so you can have one for maybe like a normal desktop recording you can have one for like your gameplay recording with the face Hello guys, this is Zortek here and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best recording settings for OBS Studio and this is the updated We got our OBS uh, front menu ready so basically what we want to do first is set up our scene so what I'm going to do is add a scene and what I'm going to call the scene is desktop capture so this is basically going to work when We want to uh, capture our desktop so for me this would work if I'm like trying to do a tutorial or I'm trying to do something like that and yeah so what you want to do is give it a source so I'm just gonna give display capture as a source and once you've done that then just click on ok and then we're just gonna give it another scene so I'm gonna call this a game capture scene so this is gonna be for our game so when I want to record games on it it's gonna be for full screen okay just remember that I'm gonna be doing it for full screen so I'll just call it game cha capture here and for the source I want to go on game capture okay and I'm just gonna call it game capture full screen I'll just call it game capture full screen just to make it easy between uh, window and full. sometimes if you guys can see there's different modes so that's why I try to so sometimes it, full screen mode doesn't work on window mode so that's why i try to separate both of them so you guys can see there's different modes so basically obviously for full screen you're gonna capture any full screen application 
so click on this capture any full screen application click on ok so basically once you've done that then we're gonna add another scene i know it's a lot of scenes but i'm trying to adjust your setup to the best possible way so this So this is gonna be the windows so basically window mode so basically this is this means that when the game's not running in full screen this is gonna record the game even when it's not in full screen so this is only you should only use this if you're recording minecraft or something or or Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to set up OBS Studio to record HD gameplay and commentaries. So in this video I'm going to keep it as short and simple as possible. So scenes and sources and your audio mixer here. And what you need to do is head over to this settings button here and click it. From here, this is the general tab and we're not really going to touch anything in here. Uh, skip stream. because we're not streaming and head over to output and now you need to set the output mode to advanced go over to the recording tab now what we're going to do here is set the recording path so i recommend we're recording either to a large fast hard drive or a large ssd if you record to a slow hard drive uh what you're going to end up is with uh you're going to end up with really choppy footage and it's going to, going to look really bad so i'm going to reset it to one of my uh, other hard drives into the right recording folder. After that, select recording format and guide on the best recording settings in Streamlabs OBS at 1080p 60fps videos. So first of all we're going to want to open settings and you can copy these if you want but these don't really matter to be honest. Um, so we're going to want to go to the output tab and set the Learning the ins and outs of OBS Studio can be nice, but sometimes you just want to jump ahead to the best possible settings. This is the video for that. I'm going to skip over creating scenes and sources and all that and get right into tackling the bit rates and what the different settings are for a high quality live stream or video recording. Let's jump in right after this. Are you tired of your streams or voice chats sounding like this? Do you want the comfort and quality of high-end headphones without sacrificing microphone quality? Antline's ModMic 5 is the perfect solution. Their dual capsule microphone attaches easily and securely to your existing headphones and fits within any setup thanks to the modular cable system. It comes with a cable wrap to protect your wires and optional inline mute switch and sounds a little something like this. Check the link in the video description to learn more. You may proceed. I am Epos Fox, and this is the video where we will cover bit rates, resolutions, frame rates, and so on. If you need to know how to set up OBS Studio in the first place or aren't understanding some of the lingo, consider checking out some of the rest of my OBS tutorial course in the video playlist in the description below for more information. When adjusting your OBS settings through
for streaming and recording, there are three main numbery things that you need to worry about. So it's important that you really understand what they are and which ones you need. Those numbers are resolution, frame rate, and bit rate. Real quick, for those that don't know what the numbers mean, let's summarize. Resolution refers to the dimensions in pixels of your video feed. This is usually 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720, but if you have monitors of resolution across all your screens on any operating system. When setting your base resolution in the video settings tab, this should be either your computer monitor resolution or an input resolution of an external capture card if you are recording from a console or external video device. Change the scaled resolution setting to be the Hello everyone, my name is Adam Box, and welcome back to another OBS multi-platform or OBS studio tutorial. This video is brought to you by TunnelBear. TunnelBear is an extremely fast and cheap, or even free, way to protect and hide your data and IP address from unwanted spying. By hiding it behind a bear. TunnelBear also zaps away tracking cookies and allows you to tunnel through other countries to avoid censorship. It's fast, affordable, and even has a free option. Click the link in the description below to try it out for free today. This video is also brought to you by our contributors to our Patreon campaign. Our patrons contribute to our work and collection of links credit here. In this video, we're going to be going over the video settings for OBS Studio. So to access that, click your settings button and go over here to video. Now you have a few different options you're going to want to pay attention to here. For your renderer, you have direct 3D. For me, it's 11. For you, it may be a different version or OpenGL. Now, depending on what computer you're on, you may want to choose something else. In most cases, you're going to want to choose the Direct 3D option. However, you will want to check out the forums if you don't have that, or if you want to use something else that will be on a very specific case-by-case -case basis. But for most users, you're going to want to use the Direct 3D option. For me, it's 11. For most people, it should be on newer computers, it should be 11. Video adapter. I don't actually have this available, so I can't show it to you, what, but what this means is that you may have multiple video cards in your system. Now this will be possible either if you have a desktop with multiple graphics cards, such as integrated graphics cards and a dedicated graphics card, or a laptop which has Intel graphics and a dedicated NVIDIA or a top is going to HD 5000. Or are going to run big or within one graphics card. That's all you need to worry about. Next are your 